Let's open the Terra Prime Weapons Locker. Hello everybody, Nikorav64 here, and as the video implies, it is lightsaber review time, and we're going to be reviewing this. This is the Padawan hilt from Solo's Hold. It's, uh, we'll jump right into this review here for my version of the Padawan, which is the latest version. This has been through at least two iterations that I know of. So, we'll get started with... Uh, Obviously, very plain, basic brushed or brushed slash semi-polished aluminum. Uh, there are some polished bits. Obviously, uh, it's starting to get a little dinged up. If you can, the camera doesn't really want to focus there. It's probably a little too close. But uh, uh, oh, turn on autofocus. There we go. So if you can, see if it'll grab there. Uh, it's getting a little beat up, yes, especially there's some bits around the emitter. Come on, camera. Camera doesn't want to cooperate. So, but um, all aluminum finish, you can get a leather wrap for the bottom, the cover tech is optional, and uh, that's pretty much it for the options. You can also get a staff coupler if you want to buy two. Uh, put them together, but we'll get back into that here in just a few moments. Uh, really quick, break out the tape measure, give you guys some, some metrics, some numbers. So, length is just about nine and a half inches, if you can see there. About nine and uh, nine and three eighths, nine and a half somewhere in that neighborhood and then for the emitter depth so to know how good uh, how good the blade sits it's about two inches deep give or take depending on how you count the the lip there in the emitter so prox two inches so it uh, keeps a good hold of the blade doesn't go uh, it's not gonna go flying out and uh, you know, into the neighbor's yard or anything when you're dueling or doing any practice. Uh, for diameter, in the choke, kind of the narrow bit here, uh, the diameter around is, if you can see that there, uh, three and five eighths. And then we get to one of the wider parts, say for the control surface. Pretty much an even four inches. And uh, sorry for those of you who speak centimeters. Um, I did it in Imperial. You'll have to get your measurement translations. You know, um, ask Google, ask Siri. So now that uh, we've got that, uh, as far as uh, the length is concerned, I found the uh, the actual length of the hilt fairly similar to. Um, my boken that I use for, uh, for kendo practice. Uh, the one big difference, of course, is the cover tech. Uh, this is an option, uh, to my knowledge, or it shows up as a, a, an option on the Souls Hold website. Uh, ask, obviously, if this is included or not. Um, and that's where kind of like the first kind of area of kind of, I will call it contention. I don't want to say it's a downside per se. Um, the, the hilt grips very well up there in kind of the uh, up near the emitter. Uh, you can grip it quite well near the control section. You use your bottom two fingers. Uh, you can do what I've call kind of call the rock on grip when you're using uh, middle fingers. And those all work great. Makes it an excellent single hand saber. So anyone who does a lot of say sport fencing, you're used to rapier style swords. Um, that's great. Uh, for someone with smaller hands, you know, obviously no problem with two hands. Uh, if, you know, kids say 12 and up, they, they're somewhat responsible with their stuff, hopefully by this point. Um, excellent size for them. But uh, 
even with somebody who's, you know, hands are fairly slender like mine, but uh, fairly long, the grip is, you know, pretty good. But the cover tech, it just kind of, you know, it kind of gets in the way. It's, it's, it, it, the real estate's very limited, so that's just something to keep aware of. Um, I'll bring in uh, just the single um, Initiate V2. This isn't the Ultra Sabers that I uh, reviewed previously. Uh, just doing a quick dimensional comparison here. Even the uh, Dark Initiate it's got a little bit, uh, it's a little bit beef here, uh, especially on the, I should turn it around there, get them lined up for you. You can see the, uh, the switch definitely sticks out and the wider parts, the emitter and the kind of control box area are just a little bit, a little bit wider. So very very slim profile and in if you kind of just have a look at length be very similar uh, maybe it's just a touch longer when you add the two of them together but honestly this is these two or two uh, version two initiates are very very short make an excellent staff so two of these just that little bit of extra length you know the uh, the half inch or whatever it is negligible and especially if the the grip on here is just so much better so definitely worth considering if you're looking for a staff it but is uh, I'll bring the Ascend back in just so there's comparison there been used my Ascend quite a bit it's my primary has been my primary stun saver for quite a while uh, quite a significant difference in length uh, the width of the Ascend is definitely wider in most cases. Sorry, I'll try and pull that in such a way that uh, you can see the depth there a little bit better. Ascend is definitely wider around the control surface, a little bit wider around on the hole, but not a lot. Just enough to kind of uh, completely cover the Padawan, but mm. it's said I have no problems gripping this one so speaking of that there's my Ultra Sabers Raven which is just towers over Padawan so just for a quick visual comparison uh, so um, next part I uh, will kind of get into uh, since we're talking about the electronics uh, go to the innards uh, just unscrew the pommel, basic threading. It is not custom Saber Shop uh, compatible. It is smaller. This might be compatible with V2, or uh, but I'm not sure. So, uh, same as uh, uh, Genesis Custom Sabers, a little bit of foam in there. Uh, Rob from uh, Genesis Custom Sabers uses kind of a, um, kind of like a piping stuff, just stuff to keep things from rattling around. And if you look in there, a 3D printed chassis, which you can actually see on the Solo Sold website, how they do that. And there's the recharge port there. Uh, inside is the Solo Sold battery, which you can also see on the website. And it is excellent battery and powers uh, good LED. I don't know specifically which one they use, f which one Solo Sold uses for the stunt. Uh, so can't really tell you what LED they're using specifically, but the Saber is exceedingly bright. And I will show you that in just one second, but um, even, I think just because the, the lithium battery and depending on the LED use, the uh, Solus Hold might not actually have to resistor it, so you just get uh, really good brightness and uh, the not sure what optic they're using either, but just uh, very good, efficient use of the LED, super bright. Uh, I think the only thing that might be brighter that I have is Bane's heart back there because it's tri, uh, tri Cree and double red with white flash on clash, whereas this is just, uh, I, th I think it might just be a straight up red because we all know how much I enjoy red lightsabers. So, 
we'll grab a blade here. Get one in. The they're really snug. The Ultra Saber's Ultra Edge, but you can kind of twist them in. This is you know you kind of have to alter the your blades to get them into the saber, and it can be kind of a pain in the backside. So, but it's not quite as much of a process of like tighten and untighten all the screws in say is in here like there's the two screws there the two screws on the blade holder for the raven to get that all sorted and whatnot so more of a process for the raven with this one it's just muscle um, but once that's done you know if you just leave the blade in you're not having to change it a bunch uh, personally I store them with the blade out so I have to go through the, the process but uh, fire up the blade. I know it's making my camera freak out, but uh, that's probably the best illumination I've had for any of this, especially the stunts. So, like I said, tip illumination is great. As you know, usually um, with some of the other sabers, you can see it's starting to die out when it gets to about here. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a sec once I get the blade back out. So, and if you, uh, based on, I guess, kind of the exposure the camera, you can't really see it. But in person, I can kind of tell that the tip isn't quite illuminating as good as the bottom one. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, the camera's exposure is just going to prevent you guys from seeing it, but unless I catch, yeah, unless I catch it right on the angle, or it's hard to see, but uh, I can see it's uh, just not quite giving the tip that same punch. So, uh, I think it, it might be partially down to the optic in uh, the Padawan, and maybe due to just some extra power in there. But the Padawan has definitely got uh, top-notch brightness. It's, it, it wins that one for sure. So, um, final thoughts. I, again, um, nice saber for uh, for kids, especially if you want to get this. Uh, they're you know your kid's big Star Wars fan. You want to get them a really good uh, lightsaber that they can have a lot of fun with. They've shown a level of responsibility and that they can kind of take care of something that's. Uh, a little expensive because once you get sound set up in here it's going to cost uh, in the same ballpark as getting sound on like an ultra saber saber forge uh the, the big kind of uh, um the bigger manufacturers um and easiest for someone with small hands uh, a kid you know their first uh, you know for if you want to buy your padawan their first saber this uh, this is definitely a good choice and like I said, if you've got uh, somewhat larger hands, um, you might want to lose that cover tech or, or just not include it. Uh, as I said, also a great uh, option for, for a staff. Uh, you can get it uh, even leather wrapped here. That's one of the options. So you can hold it on the, le the leather bits or in the kind of the choke point. Offers a really good uh, staff option, just the way it handles. Uh, as I said, single-handed, you can grip it a lot of different places. I know I didn't go with the the wrap personally because, you know, <clears throat> if it's going to be one-handed, you know, it's going to be primarily gripped in this area. Um, I might be eventually eating those words if I grip it down here, using it in kind of like the Kendo Nito, Nito style and making this the, the long sword, in which case I'll have kind of be gripping it down here. And I'll be eating my own words, but <clears throat> uh, other than that, um, that's pretty much it. It's you know, like I say, it's excellent hilt, and great for training. Uh, has a fairly similar balance to my Boken, as I think I mentioned before, uh, with blade and uh, length and uh, overall general feel. Obviously the, the book is a little more blade heavy because it's solid wood, whereas uh, lightsabers tend to be more hilt heavy because aluminum and polycarbonate too. But 
And that's pretty much it. So um, this is definitely one worth looking at. It's uh, for an adult. It's got some ups and downs, and also for kids for Saber, you know, it might be a little pricier than what you're looking for, but it is well built. Uh, it is got some pretty tight tolerances. Uh, if you're not afraid of you working in a very confined space, this could be a, a project saber because uh, they come. Uh, the base price is just for uh, disassembled, uh, empty hilts. You know, installs will cost you a little bit more, but um, you know, it's uh, you can check out Solus Hold for videos on Padawan hilts and the various kind of build levels. But uh, yeah. this one, smaller than V2, holds a, a, a Plector Labs Prism, and that's something you definitely can't get on a, a an in, on an Ultra Saber's Initiate V2. It can't even hold sound of any kind. So it's uh, small, compact, you know, very lean, mean fighting machine, as it were. So that is the Padawan by Solos Hold. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.